two miles before the truck runs out of diesel exhaust fluid. And who knows what's gonna happen. This ought to be interesting. Well, hey everybody, it's your good buddy 650 Eve here and I hope you're having a fantastic day. I am, considering we've got some cloudy skies. But today, we're gonna do a little science experiment. I'm gonna jump in the F-250 Super Duty Platinum Diesel and I'm gonna take it for a cruise. I am running low on DEF fluid, which is diesel exhaust fluid. The truck's been warning me that I'm gonna run out at any moment now, and I just wanna see what would happen if I allow this big beast to run out of diesel exhaust fluid. Now, I usually use this truck to trailer motorcycles in the enclosed trailer. I do have my Yamaha R1M inside so that I won't get stranded. But we're gonna find out what happens if you don't fill it up with diesel exhaust fluid right there. Alrighty then. Whew. Let's see how many miles we have here. Blind spot, yes I know, I know. Trailer connected, yes, thanks. Alrighty. Let's go for a cruise. Don't know how far this will take us, but you know, I think it'll be an interesting experiment just to see what happens if I let this thing run out of diesel exhaust fluid. Quiet down back there, diesel exhaust fluid. We're gonna need you in just a moment. But first, we're gonna let you run out, and for that, we have about eight miles remaining before who knows what happens to my beautiful brand new 2018 F-250 Super Duty. Why am I doing this? Strictly for your enjoyment. Um, thank goodness I've got motorcycles in the back just in case this thing leaves me stranded on the side of the road. bit nervous here I don't know what's gonna happen nobody's ever done this as far as I can tell most people that have these diesel trucks delete their diesel exhaust fluid system and put different exhaust on the vehicles but since mine's a lease I can't do that seems like a full tank will last about construction on road ahead thank you it seems like a full tank of uh, deaf fluid will last me about 3,000 miles, I believe. And in its defense, they do sell the stuff pretty much at every fuel station out there. So there's been times when I've been in a pinch and I've just pulled over to a BP or something like that and purchased a few gallons of the fluid. They also sell it at certain fuel pumps. But I noticed that at the fuel pumps, they're designed for a semi-tractor trailer. So the nozzle is a lot larger than the one on the side of this truck. So I usually have to get containers of the fluid instead of filling up at the pump. Looks like we're down to the wire. It says I've got two miles and some traffic to get past, but two miles before the truck runs out of diesel exhaust fluid and who knows what's gonna happen. This ought to be interesting. Right now I'm traveling at a little bit over 60 miles an hour. It says there that it's gonna limit me to 50 mile an hour now, that will really suck, especially if you're towing stuff like a trailer or a boat or something like that, and you're cruising at 70, 75 mile an hour. To be limited to 50 mile an hour would truly suck. Still cruising, 65 mile an hour, approaching 70 without any issues. 73 mile an hour, I'll set the cruise. At 72, see how long it lets us cruise before we're penalized for letting your truck run out of diesel exhaust fluid. All right, let's check the status of the fluid. Diesel exhaust level empty, speed limited to 50 mile an hour upon restart. 
Oh, well, that's cool. So we see that it doesn't just kill your truck in the midst of driving. It tells you that the next time you restart this beast, you're limited to 50 mile an hour. So that explains Police it. Police reported ahead. Police are reported ahead, yes. Thanks to my good buddy, Waze. So there we go. We have just figured out what happens, at least in the Ford F-250, what happens when you allow the truck to run out of diesel exhaust fluid. Um, and I think we're gonna go ahead and pull this thing over here at a fuel station, or maybe even on the side of the road, and restart it just to see if it truly does limit us to 50 mile an hour, because I'm curious. There's an exit coming up. I'm gonna hop off. What does that say? Diesel exhaust fluid empty. Yeah, it's telling me again that I'm limited to 50 mile an hour when I restart the vehicle. And we're gonna test that out in just a moment. While we're parked here, let's take a quick second to do a walk around of the 2018 Ford F-250 Platinum. This truck is fully loaded and it's an awesome, awesome machine. Stitching all over, really, really elegant. You know, this truck is not like the trucks that I used to know. Um, they've really appointed it with lots of luxury features and it is really great. This truck also has massaging seats, which you might think that that would make you tired when you're driving, but actually it keeps you more alert. Has the panoramic roof as well. Pretty awesome truck. Lots of storage, storage bins in the back. Underneath these seats can hold lots of stuff, including motorcycle air filters or whatever else you choose there's our diesel exhaust fluid so we are not going to be stranded per se we are going to put some fluid in there once we test what happens here we've got heated seats in the back awesome truck the ford f-250 super duty and this is where you would fill up your diesel exhaust fluid tank right there nice wheels in the truck too of course we've got an r1m in the back hauling a trailer really cool well without further ado let's see what happens here oh wow so it's telling me that the speed is limited to 50 mile an hour we'll just have to see about that so if we are limited to 50 mile an hour it's not good so if this happens to you, my recommendation to <laughs> either keep some diesel exhaust fluid with you, keep your tank filled as best you can, um, or uh, be prepared to be limited to 50 mile an hour. But we're going to find out if that's actually the case here in just a second. I've had this truck for, I don't know, five, six months now, and it's great. I've put 17,000 miles on it. And little over six months and I do a lot of traveling a lot of towing an enclosed trailer 3,700 pounds is the weight of the trailer when it's full and when people say that these trucks uh, the f-250 super duty diesel can tow a 3,700 pound trailer uh, like it's not there I know exactly what they mean by that I mean the transmission it's a six speed and if you're going up a hill with a trailer attached it doesn't shift down in most cases you know it doesn't there's no disruption to your travel and uh, the tachometer usually hovers at around 1900 rpm which is outstanding okay so we're at 35 mile an hour taking this on wrap at a good speed i also recommend if you're uh, using a trailer for towing that you get a dual axle trailer they are just awesome for handling and stability, they just can't be beat. All right. Okay, 47, 48, 49, 50. Wait a minute, oh! It let me go up to 52 and that's it. Then it brought me back down. <laughs> I'm stuck in third gear at 51 miles an hour. Wow, that bites. Okay, so it's uh, allowed me to go up some gears here, but my foot is literally on the floor and 
I am not going any faster than 51 mile an hour. And that's probably because I'm going downhill a little bit here. But wow, that bites. These cars probably don't like that very much. I am in the slow lane, so I'm not really obstructing traffic, but wow. So that is what happens when you allow your Ford F-250 Super Duty diesel to run out of diesel exhaust fluid. You are limited to 50 miles an hour, no matter what you do. I am just stomped down on the floor right now, and it will not go any faster. Limited to just 50, 51 miles an hour. <laughs> and look at all this traffic, not being too happy with me right now. It's not my fault, guys. I'm out of diesel exhaust fluid. Don't blame me. Other trucks, diesels that have their diesel exhaust fluid or they've had their system deleted are just flying by me. And I'm stuck in the slow lane, foot mashed to the floor there. As you can see, it just won't go any faster. Wow. And that is my limit. It keeps reminding me that you are limited to 50 mile an hour. Lesson learned for all of you guys viewing the video, do not ever allow your truck to run out of diesel exhaust fluid or you will be penalized. Your truck won't blow up. It won't actually uh, reduce the speed to 50 mile an hour while you're driving. It gives you a warning and tells you that after you turn it off and power it back up that you're going to be limited to 50 miles an hour and that is truly the case as I am driving Miss Daisy right now on the filthy streets. People are giving me the middle finger, blowing their horns. It is like I am in New York City, but I'm in a filthy cow town of Cleveland, Ohio right now. We have our canister here of clear urea. And what the heck is urea? Who knows? But definitely won't let the truck go faster than 50 mile an hour unless we fill it up. So let's do that. Very simple to do. Get every little drop of the precious urea. There. Hopefully we're all set. All right. Diesel exhaust fluid has been restored to this awesome truck. So let's see if it'll allow us to go faster than a lousy 50 miles an hour, huh? First of all, let's see if it still has any. All right, trailer's connected. We know that trailer brake gain, great blind spot. We know that. Let's see if it says anything about diesel exhaust fluid and it doesn't. So let's go over to the menu. And now it says DEF level is okay. So I'm assuming it's gonna let us go whatever speed the hell we want to. But let's find out here in just a second. Let's get to our speedometer here and uh, see if we're penalty free. And yes, we are. We're already doing 68 mile an hour, 70 mile an hour. So there you go. Now you know what happens if you allow your diesel exhaust fluid level to get so low or, and uh, get empty, you're going to be penalized. Um, at least on the Ford F-250, you're going to be able to continue your drive and then once you shut the vehicle off and turn it back on, you're going to be limited to just a lousy 50 miles an hour. And that sucks. So message to yourself, don't let your diesel exhaust fluid level get that low or you know have your system deleted and uh, you'll be happier even then thank you guys for viewing the video hit that like button if you enjoyed it you can subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button new videos i know guy that truck just gave me the finger uh, new videos are always uploaded to the 650 youtube channel stay tuned for more and as always thanks for viewing we'll catch you next time as i lally gag through the filthy streets